Sanitarium actives I've been using and loving as an esthetician and why you should too. I can say with all honesty and confidence that I have been using nothing but these Naturium products for the last six months and my skin has never looked better. This last product is my absolute favorite, you guys, and I know that it would benefit so many different people with so many different skin types. Dare I say, the best skincare line I've ever used. It is seriously magic in a bottle. talk about what are active ingredients. Active ingredients are ingredients that are in products that are doing something on your skin. They have a smaller molecular structure so they're penetrating deeper into your skin, whether it is helping control your oil production, reduce fine lines and wrinkles, target hyperpigmentation, exfoliating of the skin, helping get rid of acne scarring, dark spots. You get the drill. It's something that is doing something on your skin. Even hyaluronic acid, it's not doing skin cell turnover, it's but it's bringing water moisture into your skin so that is an active thing happening so without further ado let's talk about all the naturium actives that i have been using and absolutely loving you guys What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, what's up? My name is Charlene Town. We talk all things health, fitness, beauty, skincare, lifestyle, all of the things because it's all about being confident, being beautiful, and being you. And for everybody who's coming back, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. It really means the world to me. I don't know if all of you guys know this, but I am a licensed esthetician. I have been a practicing makeup artist for the last 16 years, which that's how I got started with this channel because I love sharing makeup and makeup tips with everybody. But I get inundated with skincare questions all the time in my DMs. And I have been using this product line for the last six months and I absolutely love it. I ended up going to aesthetic school because I was a makeup artist and I had all these clients coming in, sitting down in my chair, talking to me about why they were getting their makeup done or insecurities they had about their skin. And I wanted to be able to work with people and help them with their skin. That way they didn't feel like they had to hide themselves with makeup. That way they could just use makeup to enhance their beauty and make them feel good about themselves instead of trying to cover up everything. Does that make sense? So like acne, scarring, hyperpigmentation, fine lines and wrinkles, all of those things that women and men use makeup to cover. I wanted to learn more about skin and how we can make our skin look the best it possibly can without makeup and then have makeup as something fun that you can add on top. So that's a little background on me. I've been a licensed esthetician for six years now and I can say hand on my heart you guys these are some of my favorite products that I've ever used ever. <laughs> I love these products because I have sensitive skin and even in my treatment room, I mean, I could give myself peels and I've used a lot of these different kinds of ingredients in my treatment room, but the products that I used at home then, they were too strong for my skin. The retinols that I used from my treatment room, they would cause my skin to either flake and peel, which you do want some flaking and peeling with certain ingredients. Like that is what you're trying to achieve is that sloughing off of the skin that way you can bring the new skin to the surface. But for me, I didn't like having that flaky skin all the time and they weren't products that I could use daily. So then I would forget about them or they were too strong for my skin and they would cause me to have psoriasis breakouts on my face because I have psoriasis. And so it's been a long journey of trying to find a product line that I can use on my skin daily that's gonna show me results without causing damage on my skin or causing me to break out in a psoriasis breakout on my face. I started using this line about six months ago and I just dabbled my feet in. Like I tried a couple of the moisturizers and I'll put a link down below. I did a very first unboxing and first impressions of my Naturium way long ago, but you guys, they have come out with so many different active ingredient products and guys, 
I'm here for it. I love them. I've been using all of these products that I'm going to talk about for several months now, and I like them. <laughs> like, I love them. So I want to share them with you. This is your friendly esthetician telling you the products that I love because they might work for you and your skin. So without further ado, let's just jump into this. Niacinamide is one of their top ingredients in most of their products, whether it's formulating them by themselves and doing a niacinamide product like these. I have the niacinamide skin mist, I have the niacinamide gel cleanser, and I also use the niacinamide gel 5%. I use this as my daily moisturizer. I do have dry dehydrated skin, so I do use two of their other moisturizers for nighttime moisturizers. I personally prefer a gel moisturizer during the day just because I feel like it sets my face up for makeup really well. This gives your face a nice drink of water. The niacinamide helps with redness in which I have sensitive skin so I can get red pretty easy. They have this, but they also formulate so many of their different products with niacinamide because it's such a good ingredient. Niacinamide is great for sensitive skin because it reduces sensitivity and it reduces redness. Niacinamide will also brighten your skin if you have hyperpigmentation or dark spots, which is huge for us mamas who have hyperpigmentation post-pregnancy or during pregnancy. A lot of moms get pregnancy mask. Niacinamide is also one of those ingredients that's safe to use while you're pregnant, so I recommend this if you are struggling with melasma asthma pregnancy mask. Niacinamide is really good for that. Niacinamide is gentle but effective and it's really great for people who have an overactive sebaceous gland. Sebaceous glands are oil glands. So if you're producing extra oil on your face, niacinamide helps control that oil. This is really a great product to use if you have sensitive skin, if you have oily skin, if you have oily to combo skin. But for me personally, like I said, I do wear this moisturizer during the day underneath my makeup and I absolutely love it. I feel like it can work for so many people on so many different skin types. I've really been enjoying this moisturizer. I'm a little bit more than halfway done and I just love it. It's like a drink of water on my face. I got this skin mist because I really enjoy a spray toner and this has a spray on it, but it just adds a little extra niacinamide. I don't use this all the time because I use a hyaluronic acid, which I will show you guys that in just a second. And then this gel cleanser has been really great. I have two of their different cleansers, so, but I will use this one during the day and the other one at night or this one at night and the other one during the day. I don't use all the niacinamide all the time altogether because I have another face wash and a different toner so I always like to listen to my skin and see how it's feeling and then I use the products that I feel like my skin is needing at the time so if I need a little bit more hydration I might use my hyaluronic acid if I'm noticing I'm a little bit red or oily I'll use the niacinamide you get it you know what I mean so I've been really enjoying those. All right, there's a lot of talk about hyaluronic acid and I just feel like it's all over the place right now, but it's all around for a reason. Hyaluronic acid is an ingredient that you put it on and it pulls the moisture from your surroundings and it brings that moisture into your face. If you live in Florida, you live in places where there's a lot of humidity, you're gonna get nice and hydrated from hyaluronic acid. So just kind of keep that on your radar depending on where you live. If you live in a really dry climate, hyaluronic acid's probably not the ingredient for you. But these are the two that I have been using a lot. This guy is almost done. And then this is my second bottle of this quadruple hyaluronic acid serum. This stuff is great. This hyaluronic acid, I really enjoy this. My skin, like I said, is very dry and dehydrated. So I feel like where I live, I definitely have enough moisture in the air. This is really thick. Like this is not something that you spray on your face. You shake it up, you put it in your palm, and then you press it into your skin. It's almost like a serum. It's liquid, but it's almost a little jelly. I will use this morning and night, and I really enjoy it. I use this quadruple hyaluronic acid serum during the day under my makeup as well. So I used to use this morning and night, but now I put a face oil on at night night because I want those oils to really soak into my skin at night, but I don't want oil on my face during the day. So during the day, I use my quadruple hyaluronic acid serum under my moisturizer and I absolutely love this. And just a quick note, hyaluronic acid is strictly for adding water moisture to your face. It's not doing any exfoliation or repairing damage on your face. So just know that when you're getting a hyaluronic acid. Genuinely, it's just pulling water into your skin and making your skin look more plump. So these are the two products that I have been using and loving. I already have another bottle of this and I think I still have about half of you left, but 
This is my second bottle. I love it. I'm gonna keep using it. It sets really nicely under my makeup and I absolutely love these two products. Another really great thing about hyaluronic acid and that hyaluronic acid essence, a lot of times when people have oily skin, they do everything in their power to dry up that oil. So they are doing drying products. They are using products that don't have oil in them. And if you have really oily skin, something that I urge you to try or to explore is try a hydrating toner. Your skin cannot produce water moisture on your face, but it can produce oil. And if you already have a really active sebaceous gland, oil glands, if they're already really active and your skin is dehydrated and tight because you're using products that are drying out your face, it can't produce water. So it's producing extra oil, trying to make up for that water moisture balance. Your skin barrier is made up of water and oil and it creates this perfect balance and protects your skin. But if you're lacking that water moisture, your skin's gonna keep producing that oil trying to get that water moisture up. So I highly recommend if you have oily skin to try a hydrating toner, try a hyaluronic acid serum or essence, something that's gonna add that water moisture to your face and it can help balance out your oil production. It's helped a lot of my clients in the past, so it's just something really easy that you can add into your skincare line. And then that niacinamide gel really helps with that oil production as well. So just a quick little note for my people who have oily skin, you want the water moisture, it's something to keep in mind. I think everybody has heard about retinol, retinol, retin-A, retinoids. It's a derivative of vitamin A. Retinol is incredibly good for anti-aging, fine lines and wrinkles, hyperpigmentation. It exfoliates the skin. So it's going to help repair that deep damage that you have in your skin. So if you have acne scarring, evening out your skin tone, and that's what I've noticed the most. This retinol is the very first retinol that I can put on my skin every single night. I have seen such a difference in my skin. My skin tone's better. It's really great. To get the most benefit out of your retinols, you want to apply them at nighttime. Your skin is doing all of its repairing and a lot of skin cell turnover at nighttime. So having a retinol boost that skin cell turnover at night, it's going to bring all those nice, fresh, plump skin cells to the surface, and it's going to be sloughing off the dry, dead skin cells, which that that's what you're looking for. You're trying to get rid of those old dead skin cells so the new, beautiful, soft, plump ones can come up to the surface. There are two ways that you can apply your active ingredients, your serums, all of that kind of stuff. You can either apply a toner or apply some form of water on your face. Water and toners, they're basically like the car. Imagine it like this. You put water on your face, or I like to spray toner or my essence on my face. And then if you apply retinols, vitamin C serums, any of your ingredients, ingredients, they have a smaller molecular structure. So that water or that moisture is like the car that drives the ingredients deeper down into your skin. If I apply that retinol while my face still has some of my hyaluronic acid essence on it, it's going to penetrate that retinol deeper into my skin and I can peel. If I do that a couple nights in a row, it will cause my skin to shed. I'm okay with that sometimes, but if I'm going to be taking pictures, I'm going to be filming a video and I don't want to have that peel going on, I let my hyaluronic acid essence since fully soak into my skin until my face is dry and then I apply my retinol serum over it. If you apply it when your face is dry, it's still going to penetrate into your skin, but it doesn't have that water car driving it deeper into your skin, if that makes sense. So keep an eye on your skin. Whenever you're starting a new vitamin C, retinol, any kind of active like that, you want to use it every three days and you can build up. So it depends on what you're looking for and how you want to use it. So keep an eye on your skin and play around with it. See what your skin needs. See how you enjoy it the most. You always want to apply retinols at night because it causes your skin to be really sensitive to the sun. You really want to make sure that you're wearing sunscreen during the day because your skin's going to be more sensitive to the sun. You're going to want to save retinols for nighttime and your vitamin C during the day. Vitamin C is also really great for brightening and it just handles the light differently. So that's going to transition us to my most used, very loved, very favorite vitamin C super serum plus you guys. This was one of the first products I bought from them and I love it. This is seriously guys a multi-benefit serum. It's got vitamin C, vitamin A, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and salicylic acid. And with all of those ingredients it helps brighten, smooth, firm, and target fine lines and wrinkles, while the vitamin C helps shield your skin from environmental factors, I noticed the biggest change in my skin in just 
a month. Evening out the skin tone, brightening my skin. I will post my before and afters of before I started using Naturium and then after. It's just the biggest difference, you guys. Everybody that I have recommended that product to loves it. I can't even say enough good things about it. It is one of my all-time faves in this product line. for right, you guys, so Mandelic Acid. I used to use Mandelic Acid in my treatment room and I love it. I really miss giving facials. Mandelic Acid is so good for brightening the skin. So again, this Mandelic Acid is formulated in a way that it's not too harsh on your skin. This also has niacinamide in it. Naturium formulates their products to be very comfortable on your skin, to not cause extended redness, and I love that. I love it because because it's products that you can use daily. It's products that you can use and see results, but you're not shedding that skin all the time and you're not causing damage to your skin. I love the way that they're formulated. Mandelic acid is a gentle formula that really helps get rid of dark spots. It increases cell turnover and it helps brighten your skin, which is something that I absolutely love about it and have really noticed in my skin. And this particular formula is formulated with a larger molecular structure, so it's not gonna penetrate as deep into your skin, which allows it to be a more gentle exfoliant than the retinol or the vitamin C. So I've really been enjoying that mandelic acid. I don't use it all the time, but I use it a couple times a week and I've really been enjoying it. The last favorite product, favorite you guys, this BHA liquid 2%. This is almost gone. I already have another one. <laughs> I absolutely love this stuff. BHA stands for salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is really great for people who have oily skin, who have acne, who are prone to breakouts because it's really good at getting down deep into your pores and cleaning out your pores. I love this, especially during that time of the month or if I try a new product and it causes me to break out, this stuff, clears it up super fast and I absolutely love that. Salicylic acid goes deep into your pores and it helps get rid of any of that extra dirt, debris, and that sebum. Again, the oil, it's getting that sebum out of your pores to help reduce that oil. Because if that oil sits down in there, it can cause that probione bacteria that creates breakouts on your face. So this helps go deep down and clean out all those little pores. Now, salicylic acid, this BHA, you can absolutely use it every single day. If you're working with active breakouts, I would use it every other day. It kind of gives your skin time to rest. It is an exfoliant. It's going deeper into your pores. Now, if I have a major breakout, I may not rub it all over my skin every single night, but I will put a little bit over the area that I'm having a breakout on, like right here, like right now. And it just helps clean out those pores and gets me back on track and gets my skin back to a really good place really quickly. So just again, just be conscious of how your skin's feeling. If you notice that you're starting to flake, I would back down and do it every other day or start slow and just do it once every other day or every three days and build up to where you feel like you're comfortable with using it more often if that's something that you're needing. For me personally, I use my BHA Liquid 2% when I need it. That is one of my all-time favorite products. I love all of these products. You guys, I use all of these products and I absolutely love them. I'm gonna do a full six month review on all the products that I've been using of Naturium, what I've been loving, what my skincare routine looks like morning and night because they're very different. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something you guys are interested in. Are you guys interested in more skincare talk? I absolutely love it. I kind of geek out about skincare because I just, I really love it. It's so much fun for me. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. I would love to answer them for you. If you guys have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments down below because I'd love to film those for you. And I'm never gonna just sell you something. That's not who I am. That's not what I do. I will only tell you about something if I love it. If I don't love it, you're probably not gonna see it on this channel. So I've really been enjoying these. They have changed my skin so much and I cannot say enough good things. If this was content that you guys like to see, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe you guys because it really supports my channel. And by hitting that like button, you guys, it lets YouTube know that this is a good video and so it'll promote it more. That's why I ask you to do that like button. And if you hit the little notification bell, it'll send you a notification when my next video comes out. You can also go follow me on Instagram. I'm at the sick 
Fit Chick. I do a lot more health fitness, psoriatic arthritis. I do reels about skincare over there. I also have my Style by Char Instagram that I do my fashion bloggy fun stuff on. So you guys can go follow me on my Instagrams. If you guys want more of me, go ahead and go check me out over there. I would love to have you over there. And that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one.